हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम नीरज लेट अस कंटिन्यू टू वर्क मोर ऑन अवर पोलेस्टेक वेब डेवलपमेंट प्रोजेक्ट यूजिंग रिएक्ट जेस फ्रंट एंड एंड गो फाइबर बैक एंड सो वी हैव सेट अप अवर ए पी आई एंड पॉइंट्स एंड राउटिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इज इन प्लेस एंड वी विल एड टू इन दिस सेशन एक्चुअली वी आर गोइंग टू वर्क ऑन द अवर दिस ब्लॉक लिस्ट ए पी आई so that uh, this api endpoint will return all the block data from the database so we are going to uh, do that stuff in this uh, in this session and believe me this is very very simple so but uh, since we haven't created the functionality to add the data into the database so what i am going to do is that i am going to add some data manually so this is our uh, database and this is our block table so i am going to insert some data so this the title is this is my first blog uh sorry for the typo first blog and uh, this is the blog post content so this two so this uh, this two data so that is so this is our uh blog entry first blog entry so what i am going to do is uh, so since we have to uh, get the data from the database so uh, we have to uh, read the db database table and believe me this is very very simple so all we have to do is just uh, we have already created a database package in the previous few sessions so here we have uh, created a dbcon variable and uh, th actually this uh, variable is uh, going to hold the database connection related information and uh, we have already uh, when our our server gets up so we have uh, created a, a database connection so based on this is this two stuffs so we can uh, stitch all this inform is the, this information together in order to get the data so first of all we need to import it so from our local package so actually this is our module name so we have to uh, uh, import uh, the this database from our module itself local module itself so let me copy it from here and uh, it would be database and uh, and uh, in our controller file so let us create a local variable to hold the database dot dbcon connection information and uh, since uh, and right now we have the db information and now we can uh, uh, we can uh, get the we can we can create a variable to hold the var we will say var records of type model dot block remember we have we had created a blog module in our uh, model package so this this uh, this blog model is basically is uh, mapped to our uh, actual physical database table so uh, based on uh, this information so and now pulling the data from the database is very very simple believe me this is very simple so all we have to do is so we can say db dot find and uh, we will supply a reference to records which is of type model dot block and uh, since we have and uh, the uh, this will uh, this gom is super fantastic over him so just with this statement so it will do all the heavy lifting of uh, i mean uh, querying the database database object and pulling the data and uh, we will get all the data in the variable records and since we have got the data so now we will pass this data into the context and we will say blog records and we will say records we will save it and uh, since we have made some change so we will need to restart our server but don't worry so uh, we will use air package to initiate to 
have a live reloading so that whenever there is any change in our uh, in our go files so our application will be reloaded automatically but for now so let us go that way so our application has started and now we will come to postman to test our uh, uh, api endpoint so it will be a get request and uh, we will hit send so yes so fantastic so we are we have got the first data that uh, the id is one the title is this and the post is this so this way we uh, we are get, uh, we we have uh, got this data but yes so uh, we want this to be in the form of an array and uh, not like this so very simply so we can say it would be uh, like this and now we will again reinitiate the request so this time we are getting the blog records uh, as an array and uh, if we add some more data manually so let's say second blog and we will say second blog post content we will save and uh, we will hit uh, reinitiate our api so we are getting two records so the first record is having the id one and title is this and second record is having id two and title is second blog and post content is so we are getting our application is running fine and uh, we are uh, we have successfully uh, got the uh, all the blogs entries in the database uh, as a part uh, and uh, we we are sending those data as a part of our json response so hope you enjoyed this session so uh, this is super super easy so don't worry golang is very very beautiful and very easy to use and uh, easy to understand so that's all for this session and uh, i will see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding